If you're considering moving to the Evans, Georgia area, you're definitely gonna wanna see this video because I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, the pros, the cons. I'm gonna tell you things people just absolutely haven't told you when moving to Evans, Georgia, right after this. Hi, I'm Delrisa Rollerson and thank you so much for joining the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, on this channel I share what it's like to live, work, eat, play, and invest in the Augusta, Georgia and surrounding Georgia area. But on today's video, I'm going to focus on Evans, Georgia. So I'm going to let you know the pros and cons of living in Evans, Georgia. So back in 2015, my husband and the children and I, we relocated from the Chicagoland area, coming down to Evans, Georgia, not knowing what to expect. We didn't have YouTubers here in the area to give information on the area. So we really took a leap of faith and we moved hoping and praying that we would like it and we absolutely love it but every area has pros and every area has cons so before you move to the area or as you're researching moving to the area or if you're definitely moving to the area i don't want you to be surprised i want to share with you the pros and cons of living here in the evans georgia area so you won't be surprised when you relocate and let's just go ahead and jump one of the pros of living in the evans georgia area is growth since I moved here eight years ago, there has been a significant amount of growth. I am literally right now standing in the heart of Evans, Georgia. I'm standing downtown Evans, Georgia, and the buildings that are surrounding me were not existent when I moved here. All of this that you see around me was open land. None of these buildings were here. As you can see, some of the buildings are still being built, but directly behind me is the Columbia County Performing Arts Center. So this was a five year project, a $40 million project. This building is amazing. It's 85,000 square feet. The acoustics are amazing in there. It's a state of the art facility. We have Broadway shows that are constantly coming here. Uh, we've had cats come in. We have had Narnia come in, some ballet shows. I've taken our grandchildren to go see um, Christmas shows here. It's really, really nice facility, seats 2,100 people. So a $40 million project took them five years to build. It seats 2,100 people right here in the heart of Evans, Georgia, downtown Evans, Georgia. So you're going to experience growth here when you come to our area. So in addition to the um, Columbia County Performing Arts Center right behind me, we do have across the street, this entire area that you're seeing behind me is going to be a pedestrian-like zone. So you're going to be able to walk from facility to facility to business establishment to business establishment, shop to shop, restaurant to restaurant. You can shop here. You can see a show in the evening here over at the Performing Arts Center. It's going to be four or five star restaurants that's going to be here so evan evans georgia is really experiencing growth so that's something to expect when you come here directly across the street from me directly behind me is the evans town center that's where lady antebellum lady a is so we have concerts and festivals that go on over there so that's one of the things to expect as you come to the evans georgia area our area is growing our area is expanding and our area is offering more to the residents. So you know that when that happens, the value of our homes is just going to continue to increase. Besides the fact that we've been rated as one of the top places to live in the United States by Money Magazine, one of the reasons why a lot of people will flock to the Evans, Georgia area is because our communities offers beautiful amenities. So for instance, I'm standing in Crawford Creek right now. This subdivision has, as you can see behind me, tennis courts. It also has basketball courts. It has playgrounds. We have swimming pools here in the community. There are a lot of things for the family to enjoy right here in the community. So of course you do have your homeowners association fee that you will have for um, living in these communities. But this is just an example of one of the communities. There are also walking trails. So we have a lot of areas here in the Evans, Georgia area that has walking trails and also sidewalks. So not every community has sidewalks. So Evans, Georgia does offer communities that have sidewalks as well. Another thing that is 
really, I guess it depends upon how you look at it. Could be good, could be bad, depending upon how you look at it, are these little bitty hills. So <laughs> right now I'm a little windy, but I am walking up this hill. And so this is one thing that we do have an opportunity to stay in shape and get our proper exercise because of God's nature that we have here, which are the hills. So here in this community of Crawford Creek, we have homes that are ranging between a little bit over $300,000 on up to a little bit over $600,000. So there's a variety of price ranges here in the area. We currently have about 25 homes. We literally have 25 homes here in Crawford Creek that are on the market. So these homes are still going pretty quickly here in our area of Evans, Georgia, just basically because of the demand. A lot of people moving here to the area, but this is a great neighborhood to consider as you're moving to the Evans, Georgia area. Also here in our area, we have a lot of two lane roads such as this one. So if you're coming from a larger city, this is probably going to be um, a slight adjustment for you, just getting accustomed to our two lane winding roads. One of the cons of living here in the Evans, Georgia area are the bugs. Because the weather is nice basically all year round, it's really, really hot in the summer, and then in the winter it's not really that cold, the bugs don't die off, and they get large. So that is really a disadvantage of living here is that we have bugs, but you make sure you have to have exterminating at your home. But when you come outdoors like this and you wanna enjoy the environment, you definitely will end up seeing bugs. We also have a lot of um, fire ants. So with your children and your pets, you have to be very careful in the yards and also at the parks, at certain parks, there you will see a significant amount of mounds with those little fire ants. So I mentioned the fire ants. So I'm gonna show you what a fire ant mound looks like. I know depending upon where you're coming from in the country, you may be accustomed to seeing this, but some areas just absolutely do not have these. So this is something. So if you're moving to the Evans, Georgia area, if you're moving to the Augusta, Georgia area, make sure you teach your children and also you keep in mind that when you see this, don't step in it. Do not step in this because if you do thousands and when I say thousands I am not exaggerating thousands of little ants will come out and they will get on you and they will bite you and it will feel like fire so warn your children do not step in these mountains and for those who may possibly have allergies another disadvantage of living in the Evans Georgia area is pollen so during the spring which is well actually during like the last few weeks, we've so like in March and also in April, we do have a heavy amount of pollen. So the pollen literally falls from the trees like snow and it gets the cars dirty. So that's one of the things that you do have to um, be aware of that we do have a lot of pollen here certain times of the year. So you have to be conscious of that because you may or may not have an allergic reaction to that. To start your journey to the Evans, Georgia, Augusta, Georgia area, feel free to contact me. You can call or text the number that's here on the screen, or better yet, click the link in the comments and schedule a Zoom, and then we can talk directly, and I'll be happy to assist you and give you information in regards to moving to the Augusta, Georgia area, and see you in the next video.